Alright, this video is about how to sketch a function with, if, the, if you've been given specific locations for global and local maxima and minima. So, here, here's our example. So we want to sketch a function on the interval from x equals 1 to x equals 10 with three properties. We want its global max to be at x equals 3. We want its global minimum to be at x equals 6. And it's and we want it to have another local maximum at x equals 8. So how should I begin this? Well, I'll just take care of these one at a time. So if I want a global max at x equals 3, well, I go right around here to x equals 3, and I can really pick, it doesn't say what the maximum has to be, I can pick it to be pretty much anything, and so I'll just say, well, it's going to be right there. And the only thing I have to make sure of is that when I'm drawing the when I'm sketching the rest of this function is that this is the highest point because it has to be the global maximum. Okay? So and furthermore, what is the graph going to be shaped like around this point? Well, it has to be a maximum, so it has to be a local maximum, and so it has to be concave down here. So it's going to look something like that. That looks like a local max. All right? And now we want to keep in mind the second thing. We want it to have a global minimum at x equals 6. So where is x equals 6? It's right here. And really the only thing is that it's got to be lower than the global max. Because everything has to be lower than the global max. And I will put it for no particular reason at roughly y equals negative 2. All right. And since a global minimum is a local minimum, we have to be concave up around here. So something like that. And let's see. So let's see, I'm going to have my global max here. I've taken care of that. I'm going to have my global min at x equals 6. I've taken care of that. And now I just want a local max. Oh, this is supposed to say at, of course, at x equals 8. So where's x equals 8? So 6, 7, 8. I want to have a local max somewhere in here. Now the only thing that has to be true about this is that I have to have a local max there. And of course it has to be lower than the global max and higher than the global min. So really anywhere in here it doesn't quite matter. It just has to be um, at x equals 8. So I'll put it say right here. And since it is a local max, it has to be a local max and it has, the function has to be concave down here. All right. Now the only other thing is that I have to keep in mind the domain of my function. It's from 1 to 10, so I just have to pick points where it stops, and then really I'll just fill the rest in. So let's see, this is x equals 1, so that's where my function's going to start, and I just picked this arbitrarily. It could have been up here, um, could have been down here, it doesn't really matter. And so I'll just fill in the gaps, really. So let's go like that. Pretty good. And then doesn't really matter a whole lot what happens in here as long as I don't go above the global max below the global min so I'll just connect these two as smoothly as I can like that not too bad same thing in between here and here I'll just connect these guys like that and then I'll say that we stop right here at x equals 10 alright so if we look at our graph, we can just check that it has these three properties, it definitely has that, and we're done.